Okay, so we've been talking about Jump Force Season 2 DLC. And of course, as you know, we have Giorno Giovanna from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures confirmed as the DLC for Jump Force Season 2. Coming along with them is Orihime Inoue representing Bleach. But we're going to be looking at the rest of Season 2 and Season 3 DLC for Jump Force. And today, specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! series and their contribution for Season 2 or 3 DLC. Now, the last time we've been taking a look at this series was, of course, with Seto Kaiba coming up as DLC for Season 1 DLC, which shocked the world. And, of course, after Kaiba got added, we had a big discussion about who would be joining him for the Yu-Gi-Oh! roster down the line. In enters Yami Merrick as DLC for Jump Force Season 2 or Season 3. So right off the rip, Merrick and Yami Merrick have one huge critical flaw when it comes to trying to implement them into Jump Force. And I mean, depending upon how you choose to look at it, it could be a really, really bad thing or a really, really good thing depending upon which side of the fence you choose to land on. So let me explain here. Merrick and Yami Merrick don't really have that diverse a cast of original signature monsters that they're known for. Merrick is pretty much the main event Winged Dragon of Ra. And, you know, I explained before, this could be a really, really good thing as opposed to bad because most people only want Merrick and Jump Force for the Winged Dragon of Ra. And with less monsters to pull from, that just, you know, creates more opportunities for Winged Dragon Ra to be used in his moveset. So, you know, you have the first Yu-Gi-Oh character that would feature their Egyptian God card more predominantly in their moveset. So, I mean, I choose to look at it as, you know, a really good thing so we see more of Ra. You know, with Yugi, I want to see more of, you know, well, let's be honest, I want to see Dark Magician. But, yeah, you know, it would have been better to have more Slifer since he's the main event. And, of course, with Kaiba, uh, let's be honest, Kaiba fans are, you know, definitely, you know, liking the way he is right now. Because you can't have a Kaiba without the Blue Eyes White Dragon. But, I just think that Merrick would fit that niche of being a character that features his Egyptian God card more predominantly. So, looking at the moveset, I think that you could mostly look at Kaiba's moveset. I mean, a Mouth Blast technique would definitely be good. Uh, a typical rushdown maneuver where they, you know, send the Egyptian God card, you know, Wing Dragon Raw just flying at the opponent and he hits him and maybe he ends it off with a fiery mouth blast. That could also be something he could do. And then maybe that third effect or that third ability before we get into the ultimate could be where we can present another monster because what the only other monster that I remember Merrick using besides the Wing Dragon Raw was the masked beast so i don't know where he would come in at i mean i don't know what he would do i mean i want him to have a combo ability or a combo reset ability so maybe the masked beast could come in and do like a slash and restand the opponent for more of merrick's combos that's something that you could really see implemented on a Yu-Gi-Oh character because we don't have an ability for them that combo resets yet so having the masked beast come in and do that would be huge for merrick now, ultimate wise, we get to the main event. I know what you're saying. We already got Wing Dragon Ron everything, man. You know, two thirds of his abilities, his combos, da, da, da. but here's where you know here's where Wing Dragon Ross shines. He has his fiery phoenix form. So this is where the ultimate takes place. You know, the Wing Dragon Ross transforms into the huge fire phoenix, and he just flies into the opponent and creates a huge fiery explosion or rays and it just eliminates the opponent in a big ball of fiery glory and that my friends has been Merrick aka Yami Merrick coming into Jump Force season 2 and season 3 DLC hey I already know you love the content from the god of the anime FGC and FGC. Go ahead and press that subscribe button with utter perfection and watch some of the videos linked down below in the playlist that pops up on your screen. Click that notification bell with utter perfection to get all the top anime games, fighting games, and anime games information here from the home of perfection. The natural selection of Jump Force, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Once Justice 2 is perfection. The natural selection.